Hello! Have you ever asked yourself what kind of jobs can you get with a business information technology bachelor's degree? If you say yes, then this video might be interesting for you, so let's get started. So the first job I'm gonna introduce you to is so called IT consultant. So if you never have heard what an IT consultant is, I would like to give you, I think, a great example so you can understand why IT consultancy is important. Imagine you are a business owner of a really profitable company and you don't have really the interest to pay too much taxes so the best way you can maybe let's say avoid taxes avoid is a, is a little bit a uh, difficult word let's say um, you're somebody who has the interest to optimize your business so you can use the profits to reinvest those profits into your business so at the end of the year you have to pay business year you have to pay um, less taxes so in the most cases if you don't have the expertise you need to, to optimize your business let's say let's call it to digitalize your business to optimize um, operation processes or what, whatever kind of interest you have so in the most cases you have to hire uh, external expertise from so-called IT consultancy so those companies have the right expertise they have the right knowledge they have handled hundreds or thousands of projects so they can help you to optimize your business so the best advice I can give you if you have the interest to become an IT consultant is that you even um, get your work experience during your studies because of course great marks are important but work experience is always king I have a question for you what kind of job you would like to receive when you start your studies in business information technology I would like to know it because I also want to learn a little bit about my audience so now you have hired um, those kind of expertise for your business you not only have to face one IT consultant but in most cases you have to work with a group and inside this group of IT consultant every let's call it team member has his own experience or has his own expertise so in the most cases if you want to become a, a good IT consultant you have to learn to work interdisciplinary with other people from maybe completely different background than you have and this is the reason why I always recommend that you get your first work experience during the studies and really don't make the mistake just to have great marks so the second job is so called penetration tester and yeah I know penetration uh, tester sounds maybe funny <laughs> okay if you don't get the joke even better because this is like a running gag um, uh, inside the IT world if somebody say uh, I'm penetration tester <laughs> okay if you don't get it I was even better you naughty naughty you teasing me you naughty naughty <laughs> So I would like to explain to you what a penetration tester does. Like from the example before, you have a great company, you have hired the right expertise, but you maybe haven't asked yourself, do I have the right IT security? And if you don't have asked yourself this question, uh, not good, believe me, not good. You also need somebody who have the right education, the right experience to help you to find security loopholes. In this case in Germany we say that you have to prove a system on Herz und Nieren. Okay, my, my German sounds a little bit more English than it should be. <laughs> to say it right in German it's called Herz und Nieren. So let's be honest who wants to be hacked right so that's why I need like a great IT security that's why I need to hire a so-called penetration tester who tests your IT security system and tries to find out some kind of vulnerability or so-called security loopholes so if you want to become a penetration tester you have to know that you need like a deep understanding in programming and this kind of understanding in my opinion has to be even above average because being a so-called white hat or you can also call it people penetration tester 
It's a really difficult topic to understand, you need like a lot of experience, but it doesn't mean that you can't enter this work field with your bachelor's degrees in business information systems. And the last job is called application tester. So now you have to imagine you have the right expertise, you have hired the right IT consultancy, you have uh, hired the right team of penetration testers. So now you have to link in long term. And what I mean long term means that your staff have to understand how the new operation system works. So it's not like you can take the same staff with the same education, how they learn to work with the old system, and you can throw it on the new system and hope that everything is gonna be alright, because it won't work. That is the reason why you also need the expertise of the so-called application analyst. So what is an application analyst? So application analyst, you have to understand that this is somehow somebody who is deeply involved with the new operation systems. This is somebody who has the right knowledge to educate your staff. And this is also somebody who fixes errors, who has the expertise to develop your new operation system. So if you want to become an application uh, analyst, you need great leadership, you need um, huge feeling for responsibility and also you need like a third secret uh, magical bullet point I so call it with Germany said Fingerspitzengefühl so Fingerspitzengefühl means that you need the right sense on how you can teach really difficult topics as easy as possible to a non technical staff and like always at the end of the video i just have to say dankeschön for watching fürs zuschauen we're gonna see us in the next video peace